welcome to Hoko Polizzo's Poetry Moment, featuring Sleeping with One Eye Open by Mark Strand. I'm Shania Hudson. When Mark Strand was a student at the Iowa Writers Workshop in the 1960s, he was worried about nuclear war with Russia, among other things. He wrote his poem, Sleeping with One Eye Open, in 1962. He once told an interviewer that the poem speaks to a certain anxiety. Right now, his anxiety speaks to a lot of us who are worried about the country's future, the health of our families and friends, and the economy, among other things. So with Strand as our guide, let's just embrace our insomnia for a bit, shall we? Strand's poem is written in a ragged form, conducive to restlessness. The endings of the longer lines are echoed in slant rhyme on the short lines, like a caught breath. There's echo and recall to each line, not exact and rollicking rhyme. As a student, before he won the Pulitzer and became the nation's poet laureate, Strand would sit in class, bored, and dream up networks of rhymes. In an interview on The Writing Life, Strand laughs when naming some of his favorite rhymes. He brews and high brows, and galuazes, galoshes, and goulashes. Regrettably, Strand never wrote a poem writing goulashes and galoshes. Woven together with rhyme, sleeping with one eye open is also riddled with dread. Literature professor James Hoff wrote that the poem's title suggests a way of existing where the ever-present, often frightening mysteries of the world are both revealed and created. The last few months have found many of us awake late at night, concerned with the tenuous nature of our lives and startled by what Strand calls the fishy light of the moon. His poem isn't reassuring or sleep inducing with its open-ended ending, hoping that nothing, nothing will happen. There's no rhyme for will happen and we're left suspended in mid rhyme Many of us are lying awake at night, bleary eyed, hoping that tomorrow morning will be better. And now, Sleeping with One Eye Open by Mark Strand. Sleeping with One Eye Open. Unmoved by what the wind does, the windows are not rattled, nor do the various areas of the house make their usual racket, creak at the joints, trusses, and studs. Instead, they are still, and the maples able at times to raise havoc, evoke not a sound from their branches, clutches. It's my night to be rattled, saddled with spooks, even the half moon, half man, half dark, on the horizon, lies on its side, casting a fishy light which alights on my floor, lavishly lording its morbid look over me. Oh, I feel dead folded away in my blankets for good and forgotten. My room is clammy and cold, moon-handled and weird. The shivers wash over me, shaking my bones. My loose ends loosen, and I lie sleeping with one eye open, hoping that nothing, nothing will happen. <laughs> 